In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create two-dimensional surface body in Ansys Design Modeler, and then we will create structured mesh uh, in the Ansys Meshing module. Uh, so I uh, double-click on Fluid Flow Fluent uh, to open the uh, complete flow package, uh, and uh, First of all, I open a geometry module uh, to create two dimensional surface body, uh, uh, the mo most simplified geometry. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, set units to millimeter and select XY plane for sketching and look at the plane and go to sketching and create a uh, rectangle uh, with one corner coincident with the origin now we set its dimensions uh, so, uh, by select uh, keep general uh, tab uh, uh, selected and now uh, click over the horizontal uh, length uh, to give it dimensions and I want to give uh, this length 90 millimeter and uh, now uh, width and I want to uh, give this length uh, 45 millimeter now uh, we can create surface body from uh, this uh, two-dimensional sketch so use a concept tool and uh, under concept use surface from sketches and we have only one sketch uh, which is this rectangle and uh, now after selecting it click here apply and you can see that here a sketch one is selected now you can press the button generate in the toolbar and we have one surface body um, created in this uh, design modeler now we move to ansys meshing which is second component of this uh, fluid flow package uh, now double clicking on the meshing uh, the meshing module will open so here we can see in uh, the surface body which has been created in the uh, previous step and then we can do some actions with this now here um, i want to uh, size its uh, edges uh, of the computational geometry so the vertical length and uh, left and right i have uh, selected both by uh, pressing and uh, holding the control button and then clicking with the mouse and now i click over here uh, this uh, uh, yellow shaded bar and uh, uh, apply button will appear here and you can press the apply uh, button and uh, i want to select element size uh, with the option number of deviants i want to make this edge left and right both edges with the number of deviants and uh, i want to uh, put 45 number of deviants over here and uh, behavior um, we will uh, choose hard so that uh, um, exactly uh, number of pieces 
uh, must be done which we have passed that is 45 and now uh, I want to again uh, give size to upper and lower edge both and click the apply button uh, we have now two edges selected we can see over here and again uh, the same procedure number of divisions and uh, I want to uh, divide these two pieces into 90 parts and uh, uh, keep the uh, behavior hard and now generate the mesh Uh, we see that uh, the mesh is created but it is not structured so you should come uh, to uh, um, map face meshing and it will uh, map edge to edge and uh, part to part left to right and uh, top to bottom to create a structure mesh and I am applying uh, this body selecting this surface body and clicking over here apply button and I can now press the generate button so uh, highlighting mesh we can see that uh, this mesh uh, this is a uniform mesh whether we move from left to right or from uh, top to bottom for the better view uh, for understanding we uh, reduce number of deviants 45 uh, instead of 45 we take 20 and uh, uh, top to bottom instead of 90 uh, we take 40 and press the generate button now we can see uh, this mesh uh, if uh, you uh, need for your computation the uniform mesh then it's uh, okay uh, it's a mesh you can refine it by uh, increasing number of uh, edges in this edge sizing and this edge sizing uh, depending on uh, your need uh, you can do uh, if we want non-uniform mesh uh, for example uh, this is uh, an axisymmetric flow and for example your lower, lower edge is axisymmetric uh, then uh, and the upper edge is wall and left uh, edge is for inlet and our uh, right edge is for outlet uh, first I can give a name to these uh, edges uh, for the convenience uh, uh, select the edge and right click and second last option create uh, uh, name selection and uh, right type over here inlet uh, uh, this uh, drop down menu appears and this is inlet uh, right edge select right edge and create name selection as outlet for the lower edge exe symmetry or uh, simply symmetry and uh, influent uh, we can further uh, put the boundary condition for this edge as we want and this is the top most edge is uh, will be wall so uh, we have uh, given name all the boundaries now if uh, you have to capture the boundary layer uh, um, um, boundary layer phenomena uh, along this wall then you will have to create uh, the mesh uh, near this wall fine and uh, gradually going to the uh, axisymmetry face uh, or boundary 
this will be uh, coarser finer mesh to coarser mesh so uh, in this case uh, we will need non uniform mesh and uh, this uh, uh, sizing we select this sizing and uh, the uh, last option over here is um, bias type uh, that is no bias and uh, you can select uh, for example second type of bias and now uh, you have to give bias factor for example we choose it four then uh, uh, the uh, mesh will be non-uniform and we see that uh, there is a reverse bias uh, opposite bias type uh, for the left and right edges so uh, there is an option to reverse the bias uh, we may uh, reverse the bias which is required so i choose left uh, sorry right uh, edge to uh, take as the reverse bias so that we uh, get same type of uh, um, sizing on both edges now click apply generate mesh now we see that this is a non-uniform mesh and we may increase a uh, number of deviants uh, to for example 40 and uh, generate mesh now you can see uh, here are boxes almost in a square form and uh, in this upper region near the wall uh, the uh, mesh is finer and uh, from left to right uh, the uh, mesh is uh, uniform from top to bottom the mesh, mesh is non-uniform and you can control uh, it with number of deviants and bias factor for example you choose bias factor as 5 uh, then you will get more finer mesh near this edge and uh, as you go away from this edge from this wall uh, the uh, mesh uh, becomes coarser if uh, you uh, are taking the above edge as well as the lower edge as a wall then you may select uh, bias type uh, different bias type for example uh, finer near the walls and uh, coarser in the center as we can see here uh, the mesh is coarser in in center of the um, um, body uh, but it is uh, uh, finer near the walls if your above edge is boundary is also wall and lower boundary is also wall so uh, this is uh, all about uh, today's tutorial and in next tutorial we will um, give uh, a cavitation problem in the in nozzle injector um, with structure mesh and that will also be a um, axisymmetric problem thank you